a powerful channeled message from the divine masculine uh, in regards to the divine feminine and to the divine feminine. Um, all of this feels strange and untrue, and I won't waste a minute without you. This is a, a part of song lyrics. I, 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 I woke up this morning, you guys, and I had a song. It's just been playing over and over and over again. Okay. Um, and I, I, so I, I, you know, cause this is like, I, I have channeling notebooks. So for my own reference, you know, things of that nature, I always put the date and what it's about. And like, you know, so I said, this song has been playing in my mind's eye since waking this morning. Um, this is a song, it's a older song by, a, a an old, like alternative group called Snow Patrol. Um, if you guys, if you know, you know, Snow Patrol. Okay. Um, they had a really, you know, famous, uh, time and all of that, like back in like, I don't know the, you know, I want to say around like, you know, 2000. 2004 I don't know somewhere around there okay because it was like really popular when I was like I don't know like 20 years old 19 years old things like that okay um so the song is called open your eyes by snow patrol okay so um I'll try I'll if I remember I'll link the the song down in and I'll pin it in the comment section so you guys will know if it's there already um, but I highly 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 suggest like listening to it but I wrote the whole song out because the lyrics are so profound and so specific so when i started hearing it i just kept hearing the chorus part um which is um tell me that you'll open your eyes and then they say it like over and over like four times okay so tell me that you'll open your eyes okay so you know, as far as like the divine feminines go, the divine feminines are the one whose third eye and eyes are open. Well, the masculine, they're super activated. They are waking up very profoundly. So I feel it's like, tell me that you'll open your eyes. I feel what this is, is like my, the DM is saying my third eye is open. I'm seeing and manifesting the future differently, clearly, in a more aligned way for my highest and greatest good rather than staying in, you know, karmic dynamics or certain patterns or generational, you know, family things or addictions, whatever it is. Mostly for many of you guys, this is about, you know, it's predominant, the, the, the masculine going through the ego death and healing, they've been going through this, a lot of them with a karmic partner, um, whether they have karmic past life stuff that they got to balance with this other person, or if this other person, if they have similar healing karma that they need to do and the universe just paired them up. Okay. Um, so it'll be, you know, different for everyone, but I do know that predominantly it's a third party. It is. Because, you know, we've had a lot of lifetimes and we have, you know, stuff that's connected specifically to relationships and how we work in relationships and the patterning that we've picked up through lifetimes, et cetera, et cetera, right? So their eyes are open. Their third eye is open, okay? Tell me that you'll open your eyes. And literally the song is called Open Your Eyes. Now, this also what I'm getting is the masculine praying, hoping that the feminine will open their eyes, meaning I hope it's not too late. I hope you you can look at me with open eyes, open heart, um, you know, even if you don't want to, you know, you know, even if we don't come into union or even if you are not open to union anymore, I just need you to open your eyes. I need you to be open with me so I can be you know, because I want to be open with you. It's it's like that, okay? So I'm going to just read the lyrics. I'm not going to sing the lyrics because you guys will click off and no one wants to hear that. Okay. So the very first verse. All this feels strange and untrue, and I won't waste a minute without you. My bones ache, my skin feels cold, and I'm getting so tired and so old. The anger swells in my guts. And I won't feel these slices and cuts. I want so much to open your eyes because I need you to look into mine. And then it's like the chorus. The, the tell me that you'll open your eyes. Okay. 
And then it says, get up, get out, get away from these liars. Okay, so in this instance, it feels like this is what the masculine is intuitively opening up to and feeling now. Um, you know, because they're seeing with the third eye, the crown is like super activated, super, the heart is super activated. Um, it just feels like everything that they thought they wanted, right? It's no longer aligning for them. It's no longer feeling resonant for them in a lot of ways, okay? And I'm actually hearing, oh shit, what did I do? So this masculine is like thinking that to themselves, like, what did I do? So you know, that's, you know, when we have epiphany moments, when we have the aha moments, when the light bulb clicks on, it really is like that. It's like, what did I do? Oh my gosh, I need to fix this. You know, we've all been there in different situations in life, right? Like where we, we act before we think, okay? And the more that you awaken and become enlightened and, you know, all of that, you, you stop being so reactive in life and you become more observant, right? Okay, so after the chorus, tell me that you'll open your eyes. Get up, get out, get away from these liars because they don't get your soul or your fire. Take my hand, not your fingers through mine, and we'll walk through this dark room for the last time. Every minute from this moment now, we can do what we like anywhere. I want so much to open your eyes because I need you to look into mine. So... You know, it's like the masculine is picking up what the feminine has been saying all along. Like, get up, get out, get away from these liars, get away from these karmics, get away from these people that do not have their takers, their manipulators, their narcissists, their, you know, liars, their all these things. So it's almost like the masculine is going, oh my gosh, I get it. Like, this is what my feminine was mirroring to me because my feminine got up and got away from the liars. My feminine rose up in frequency and self-love. And my feminine chose to be single, celibate, alone, instead of engaging with low vibrational uh, energies or entities or people or whatever, okay? Um, I'm also getting the spell has been broken. Now, yesterday on my live, um, which was an amazing live, if you guys go check it out, like it, it's it's six hours long. I was on, we were on for a very long time. So again, thank you for those of you guys who were there. Thank you again for, to my moderators. Um, but the actual collective message, you guys, is only like the first like hour and 10 minutes. So it's a really great, um, it's all about life shifting, but like soulmate energies came through, things like that. But it was actually separate from the DM. So anyways, but yesterday um, in the live, like now, where was I going with that? Where was I, <laughs> where was I going with that? Oh, because we were talking so much about, you know, how much the feminine, the divine feminine has risen in frequency and how the divine feminine for many of them. And this is how you'll know if it's your message or not, because if you're still very much clinging to the outcome between you and the masculine, then this is not your message. Um, you're in a different time of your journey. You still like there's still a lot of healing work that needs to happen in regards to self um, to, to bring yourself more into a unified state of consciousness, et cetera, et cetera. Right. I'm speaking to those who surrendered it up. And that's what we were talking about yesterday. So this masculine is waking up. They're feeling I'm getting shooketh. They're shooketh. OK, like they are shaken up right now in life. There's a lot. It's like a tornado. OK, I'm getting like. You know, in the Wizard of Oz, you guys, right? That's actually a wonderful analogy because the Wizard of Oz, it's like, right? We're not in Kansas anymore, right? Okay, so that's kind of what's happening here. The masculine's waking up in a very profound way and they're going, oh my gosh, like, what have I done? You know, um, I'm definitely not in Kansas anymore. I'm seeing like, you know, when, when the whole thing happens, right? When Dorothy goes from Kansas into uh, the land of Oz, it's through a tornado, right? And and you see in the tornado, everything flying everywhere, the house, the, you know, everything is inside the tornado, right? And then lands in the land of Oz. So it's almost like right now the masculine has left Kansas. They're in this tornado and then they land in the land of Oz, okay? Which is, you know, I'm just going to say like the you know, even though we know in the land of Oz, the wizard's controlling everything. And that's, you know, another discussion for another time as far as like the dark wizards in our earth 
at this time and who's been pulling the strings, they're being exposed, okay, right? Like the curtain is fallen. Everyone is seeing the wizard who's, right? Like, oh, this is the wizard, you know? So anyways, another discussion for another time, but also this is significant because it's like, you know, we'll say like the dark wizard in Oz was creating an illusion, right? It was all an illusion. And that's kind of what I'm getting here with the divine masculine. It's like the divine masculine is waking up and seeing very clearly that this is all an illusion. Um, and I'm getting players in the game. So it's almost like they're feeling and seeing and, you know, going, oh my gosh, I'm seeing more through the illusion, through the um, simulation, through the video game of what this 3D matrix is, okay? And I've been... And I've been not leveling up in life because I've been I've been hooking myself up with the wrong players. Okay. So, and that's what I mean. Like it's like it's like the masculine is going, oh my gosh, this is what the feminine was like showing me, mirroring to me all along. And I get it now. Get up, get out, get away from these liars because they don't get your soul or your fire. And that's what the divine feminine has always seen with the divine masculine. Like the divine masculine has always felt this very profound soul connection that you guys are, whether it's a twin flame, you know, it's right, just blister labels out the door. It's just, you feel it on a very profound level. You're the one that they've never been able to let go of fully. They think of you all the time. They dream of you all the time. They're always, you know, through telepathy and psychic, you know, energy, they're sending you all the time signs and synchronicities and songs and, you know, all these really profound confirmations um, of how they feel, yet nothing's happened in the 3D. So it's also very confusing for the divine feminine. And that's what I mean. But the divine feminines who I'm speaking to, you rose above that illusion. You rose above and you followed your intuition and the voice of your heart and soul. And you said, you know what? I know what this is and, and and I'm not like, you know, delusional because I'm getting all these signs. And I, the masculines, many of them, they don't even know that they're doing this because the way that they're doing it, it's like, let's say they hear a song on their iPod, on the radio, okay? And it's like a love song and then it, the lyrics remind them of you, right? So the whole time they're listening to the song, they're thinking of you. Well, what they're doing in that moment is they're sending you those thought signals, those thought vibrations, they're sending you that song because that's what they're in, tuning into at that very moment. Okay, so chances are if you're getting a song, I mean, your masculine probably just listened to it or is listening to it or recently listened to it and they can't get it out of their head just like this song. That's what I literally was like, you know, since I woke up this morning and opened my eyes, well, look, open your eyes, the song, open your eyes. I open my eyes, you know, I get up out of bed and I go to like make my coffee and that's all I'm hearing. Tell me that you'll open your eyes. And I just keep hearing it, hearing it, hearing it, okay? So it's like the masculine came through um, this morning and well, up until it's, you know, I don't know, like almost, it's like 11 something a.m. here in California. So for the last several hours, it's been super just like intense, intense, intense. Okay, so there's something about this new moon, okay? Um, that we are having tomorrow, depending on where you're in the, at in the world, it could be the 7th or the 8th of May. Um, and if you're tuning in and this video finds you, um, you know, five years from now and it's right, you're about to have a full moon or whatever, it doesn't matter about the time, that's the illusion. So I'm tapping into every single person who's going to be guided to this message through all space and time, okay? So... Anyways, um, and the fact that the, the masculine is saying, like, tell me you'll open your eyes. It's like the roles have reversed in a sense. And I'm not saying like, oh, the tables have turned and ha ha ha. Like, that's what you get. If you have that kind of vibration towards your divine masculine, again, this is not your message. The ones who I'm speaking to in this message, the divine feminines have extreme empathy, love, compassion, forgiveness. Like they are not holding a grudge. They are not resentful. And the masculine can feel this. But on the other side of the coin, the masculine is also feeling very profoundly energetically that the divine feminine has completely pulled away energetically, completely pulled away, completely leveled up, 
The feminine has surrendered it. The feminine is not worried about it. The feminine is not sitting every day by the phone, hoping and praying and wishing that today will be the day that they reach out. This is not that. And the divine masculine is feeling that hardcore. It's like, oh shit, what have I done? And oh shit, I'm gonna lose this person forever because there are very powerful soulmates in the divine feminine's energy field for a lot of you guys. Okay, we talked about that on the live yesterday as well. And the cards came out, backed it up when I was using Romance Angels. It was all about a, a very powerful soulmate. It was all about like, um, you know, equal give and take. It was all about like who you've been calling in with your affirmations and your prayers and your visualizations. So the divine masculine is picking up on all this stuff. Now, again, third eye, the third eye, open your eyes. The third eye is open. Now, their physical eyes are seeing too through the illusion and they're seeing through the illusion and the patterns and the choices and the hardships and everything that they've been throwing themselves in. Okay. Now I do want to say that, you know, all of this is about, you know, the healing journey of self, right? So, you know, there, you can't, it, 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 as far as my opinion goes, you know, a divine masculine coming forward who's been in these situations or in this state of being or living for however long, um, they may want to apologize or seek forgiveness of like, I'm sorry that, you know, I just wasn't honest or I'm sorry that I ghosted or left you on red. I'm sorry, you know, that I was cowardly, that I wasn't open, that I wasn't, you know, brave or courageous or, you know, that I didn't tap into my strength because I didn't have my strength at the time, not the strength that you needed, not the strength that this connection is. I didn't even have it within me. I wasn't strong. I portrayed myself as strong. I acted to the world and my family and my friends that I'm strong and I got it all together. But on the inside, they've been crumbling, you guys. They've been, this masculine has been crumbling inside. They've been trying to hold it all together. It's like, um, you know, what, I, what, I, what I'm being shown is like, uh, you know, like a, like, a, like a swimming pool, like a, you know, the doughboys, the, you know, the, the doughboy pools, right? Like they're, you know, they, you can buy them, you prop them up, but they're like latex, you know? So if they get holes in them, right? So I'm seeing like a pool of water, a big pool of water, um, you know, like a, like a doughboy pool. And I'm seeing all of these holes starting to go boop, 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 like all around it. And, and all this water starts pouring out and like the water levels are going down and all the water is just draining out. Okay. That's what I mean. They're trying, they can't patch things up and, and get things done. You know what I mean? They're trying to hold it all together. They're trying to like patch up the holes within their life, their heart. But it just, every time they patch up a new hole, 10 more spring a leak. Does that make sense? It's a mess. It's a mess. And what they're realizing is I... Like I'm trying to hold things together that I don't even want to hold together. I'm trying to hold it together for everybody else, but I'm not doing anything for myself. Now there's a shift. Now there's a shift. Okay. My bones ache. My skin feels cold and I'm getting so tired and old. The anger swells in my guts and I won't feel these slices or cuts. I want so much to open your eyes because I need you to look into mine. So very specifically, this masculine is going, my bones ache, my skin feels cold. What that means is I'm tired. Just like the, it says here, I'm, I'm getting so tired and so old. Life just keeps passing. The days just keep passing. You get farther and farther and farther away. At this point for them, you're like a mirage in the desert of their life. Okay? So... And that's actually a beautiful analogy. Thank you, Erica. Um, <laughs> they've been walking through a dry, hot desert trying to survive and crawl through, right? Okay, and you're the mirage. You're the paradiso. You're the paradise. Okay, so there is a very strong, with this, with this song, you guys, this is probably the strongest shift that I have felt from the Divine Masculines in a very long while, okay? Um, you know, as far as like connecting to the, to, the, to the messages, to the energy, energy moves like this, right? 
and in cycles. So you could have really high highs where it's like, oh, you know, you've watched readings where it's like, oh, they're really feeling it. And then it goes boom up. Oh, no, they're, they're, they're hiding. They're, they're going backwards. There's right. And then it's like, oh, they're feeling it. Right. So there's always the ebb and flow. Okay. So I just want to, I want to point that out because, you know, I, people go like, you know, oh, I've been hearing this for a long time. Well, it just wasn't your time to come into union. <laughs> it's divine timing. And that doesn't mean the reading's wrong. It just means it wasn't for you. It hasn't been your time yet. This is really strong as far as timing goes, you guys. We just, I mean, literally, like, this is the, the calm after the storm, okay? Because we have been in an energy storm. We have been hit very hard, okay? Think of, like, if you guys have ever seen the movie The Perfect Storm, okay? Like, ships and massive waves and rain and lightning and, okay? That's what we've been in as a collective, okay? So now we're moving in. I mean, Taurus season kind of always just brings that more like mellow, you know, kind of happy-go-lucky kind of, you know, vibe, you know, and then it kicks up, right? Like, you know, Gemini and Cancer and right. It's like, honestly, um, besides the fall, like this time right here is my favorite time uh, energetically kind of every year. Okay. With, with the astrology, with just how it feels, it feels good. It feels warm. It feels, you know, very spring. Okay. Like new life, new things, new, new finances, new loves, new, uh, you know, experiences. It's like that. So, um, I know I haven't pulled any cards. Okay. So if you guys are new here, if you're new to the channel and this video just found you for the very first time and you know, you're new to Gypsy Calvary Tarot, I want to say thank you for being here. Um, welcome in, mi amores. If you guys are returning, welcome back. I'm Erica. I'm a psychic medium and a or oracular priestess. I wanted to say oracle and oracular at the same time. So, um, and so this is how it is. I, I, I get the messages and then I come and I share them and I channel them and then I pull cards to see what else wants to come through as far as the messages and details. Um, tell me that you'll open your eyes. You see the, the third eye is lit. There's passion and fire lit. This is beautiful. I just split the deck. This was on the bottom of the deck, nine of cups, but the eyes are closed. So there, you two are connecting. They're sending you a lot, right? Through, psychically, telepathically. You guys, it's, it's, you guys, there's been a separation. There's been distance. There's been time, you know, where you guys haven't spoken for however long, you know, for most of you guys, it's months or years even, okay? It's not uncommon, it's very common. It sounds crazy, but it only sounds crazy to people who aren't a part of these journeys, people who just truly don't understand, they don't get it. You have to be you have to be on this kind of a journey to truly understand and get it, okay? That's why you guys are here, <laughs> that's why I'm here, right? Because we get it. But tell me that you'll open your eyes and it's a feminine energy here. So they're hoping that you won't shut the door on them. They're hoping that you won't keep your eyes closed to them. They also know that your third eye and like who you are, you're super tapped in. You can't get anything past you because you don't need your eyes to see. You see everything, feel everything with the third eye. And they know this about you, okay? They, I mean, you might be, you don't have to, but you could be, you know, do spiritual work. You could be a, a psychic, a, a reader. You could be, you know, someone who's just highly, highly intuitive. Like they felt all this, they knew all this and it scared them. They ran. Okay. Because they, again, they felt so exposed. They felt so vulnerable because again, you were seeing, you don't need your eyes to see. You could see through them to the soul. And that's kind of it where in the song, where it says, get up, get out, get away from these liars because they don't get your soul or your fire. So, and then look at that first card. We have fire. Okay. So, um, they are understanding that the divine feminine has always had their best interest at heart. They understand that the divine feminine has always come from a place of you know, love and divine sovereignty and a place where there's no, you know, anger and, and, and jealousy and insecurity and, you know, control, you know, like a lot of like, you know, like if it's like a, a karmic partner, that's oftentimes some of the things that are very karmic in the relationship is they want to control each other. They get, you know, very jealous or very angry, very possessive, very kind of psychotic sometimes, right? Um, you are the polar opposite of that, okay? 
uh, and they're seeing it very clearly, okay? So they know that, you know, they need to get up and get away from the liars. They need to get up, get out, get away from the life that they have started, created or been in or stuck in or whatever it is. They know that you've always, it's like you're speaking to them without speaking to them. Okay. Tell me that you, and it's so crazy, you guys, because honestly, like when I was like, you know, like, I don't know, 19, 20 years old, when Snow Patrol, the group was like super popular, um, you know, I loved their music. I love their music. You know, their one big, big famous song was Chasing Cars. Um, and, and this one too, this one too, this one I think was another one that was big on the radio, but honestly, I have not listened to Snow, Pat Snow Patrol in so long. Okay. Just recently, I don't know, maybe a couple weeks ago. I don't know if I shared this in a message or just kept it to myself, but a few weeks ago, um, Snow Patrol came through just like this. I don't think I shared it. I don't think I recorded it, but it was the song Chasing Cars. It was the song Chasing Cars, not, not this one, but it, it, it came through strongly, but yeah, I don't think I recorded it. I think I just like, was like, okay, duly noted. Um, but I may have, I don't know. <laughs> you guys might know if, if you saw the video. Um, and that song is significant too, Chasing Cars, okay? And I can't even think of like how it goes or the lyrics of that song right now at all. So I'm not even gonna try because my mind and everything is like such in a cycle right now of, of this one, Open Your Eyes. Ten of Wands, look at that. Okay, they could be in the process of leaving someone or moving out. Someone could be packing up. Okay, but this is that get up, get out, get away from the liars because they don't know your soul or your fire. And it's it's this is fire, wands, right? We have nothing but like fiery vibration here, okay? Fiery energy. Fire helps transmute. Fire is also, you know, movement. It's passion. It's, you know, sacral energy. There's a lot of sexual energy here. There's all these things, right? Ten of Wands is burdens, it's heaviness, it's you're you're carrying all this, you know, heavy load around, you're tired of it, it's completion, it's like, I'm done, this is done. This person is done with whatever they just left behind. They, they're releasing the burdens, okay? So, and it's funny too, because we have the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Wands, like, are you kidding me? The Ace came out first, which is the new beginning, and then the Ten is the completion of an ending, of a cycle, that was a burdensome, heavy cycle. Okay, so we have completion and a new beginning. Bottom of the deck is the Page of Swords. Someone who's been watching, they've never let go, okay? It's like when they connect to you, when they watch you, and like, let's say you're like, well, I don't have social media, Erica. They can't watch me, right? Well, yeah, they can, because that's it's called energetic spying, where they're just thinking of you. See all these light bulbs? Those represents ideas, thoughts, things of that nature. She's holding on to those thoughts. Birds are very significant. The birds are giving so much communication right now. And I feel this person has learned a few things from you. And I feel they're connecting to nature. They're listening to the birds. They're tuning in on a higher level, just like you do. They've been trying to walk this tightrope, keep everything balanced. They can't do that. Okay? But they've learned a lot here by watching you, by studying you, by connecting to you. The page also speaks of communication, right? Okay, but after the page of swords, we have the knight of cups, but he was in a reverse position, but I'm not gonna take him. If he wants to come out, he'll come out. It's someone who's been wanting to reconnect or talk to you for sometime but the love it's 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 risen up it's 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 always been there but it is risen back up to the surface they can see they they can see with that third eye and they hope that you will open your eyes to them that you won't shut the door that the door is not shut permanently because they want to look into your eyes Four of Wands, look at that, coming together. This is what they're manifesting with their third eye. This is what they're seeing now. That's what I said about their future. Releasing the burdens, making plans to release burdens, releasing burdens, whatever it is, because they want new, 
passionate beginning in their life with the one who they've never let go of. And they're not sure how you're going to react. They're not sure if you are with someone, dating someone. They're not sure if you're just like, no, like, you know, I, 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 I have love for you. And I, this is a very strong soul connection, but I have elevated and I've surrendered this and it's too late. Okay. They have no clue. Okay. Um, which is another reason why we have the heaviness here with the 10 of wands. It's like the more, the, the more they watch you, the more, uh, heavy it becomes. Okay. Four of wands is celebration, right? It's, it's togetherness union. We've got the 11, 11 here, right? They're seeing the 11, 11s. They're seeing the one, one, ones. They're seeing the 10, tens and the nine, nine, nines and all of the things like that. They desire unity with you. They desire union with you. That's what they're using the third eye for. Okay, for some of you guys, I'm getting that, and this is a little bit more specific, that this person feels very foolish for the relationships or for what, you know, a partner that they went back to. They feel very embarrassed by that, very, very foolish, okay, that they tried to put on a facade to someone so in tune, so empathic, so psychic, so in, right, intuitive, but they try to put on a facade that, oh, uh, everything's good over here. We're having fun. Life is good. I'm happy. No. No, 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 They've been in a place of seven of cups for a while. They've been, okay, like I said, seeing through the illusion, but they've been very confused. They've been very confused because they didn't trust themselves because they didn't trust themselves because they've chosen wrong so many times in the past. Now they're waking up to the fact I make wrong choices that do not, are not for my highest and greatest good. You know? I'm seeing through all the confusion now. I'm seeing with my third eye and, and, cl and clarity. It's someone who's been in the, it's like they've been, they've been just standing still, but they've been, you know, going over the scenarios, the what ifs, the, the, you know, the situations, you know, like, you know, just kind of, right. And it's almost like they've gotten to a place of like, why am I just going through all this craziness when all I got to do is just make a clear cut choice and decision, reach out, talk, communicate, you know, walk away from things that don't serve me anymore, release burdens, whatever it is. Right. Okay. So let's see what else comes out. The star card is showing up. Okay, it's the two of you connected. You guys, you know, for a lot of you, you're both star seeds, um, but this is destined. It's it's connecting on a soul level. It also shows that you know they still feel the uh, the love in a very 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 strong way, and they recognize that the divine feminine energy is a very healing energy with the star card. Um, it's a very healing presence, healing energy. They understand that this is a cosmic love, that this is something divine from the stars, written in the stars, and they feel that the stars are aligning at this time. There's something about doing something, okay? The heart activation, okay? Like your heart, your like your love, everything that you embody, you are the one who activated the light, okay, back within them or help is helping them remember that. This is crazy. I hope now that I'm channeling out this message and this song that the song stops playing. <laughs> Cause oftentimes that's what happens. I'll get like a specific song or message, right? Like, and I'll keep hearing it, hearing it, hearing it. And I'm like, okay, I need, I need to record this like right now, because if I don't, I will keep hearing this and it's kind of driving me nuts. Um, it's not like when you get a song stuck in your head, it's, it's different than that. Here we go. Yeah. This person, they've been watching and there is, um, I want to, I want to give. Okay. I don't just want to take, I feel this is balanced. You know, I understand more now, but this is like giving to someone, but it's in the 3d. So it's like tangible, right? This person has also realized that you are a, a wish fulfillment for them, that you're the one that they've been manifesting their whole life. And then they met you and then lost you. And now they're realizing, oh my gosh, I was blind. I wasn't seeing. 
you are what they're wishing for. They're hoping, wishing, and praying that it's not too late, okay, that you guys can speak or talk. Six of Cups is showing up after that. Super, super in their feels, very much missing you. Um, a lot of nostalgia here. Feeling the past life love and connection between the two of you guys. Oh, I get it. Like, you know, the, the reason why I feel this person so strongly is because this isn't the first time, you know, this isn't our first rodeo together. This is, you know, wow. Like, I get it, you know. I feel that this person is watching tarot. They're watching readings. They could be getting some kind of guidance. Again, they're tuning in to the signs, the synchronicities, and the communication from animals, from nature, from birds, right? The world card. There we go. This person is completing a huge cycle in their life. They could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, King of Pentacles. This is someone who, uh, it's like they rooted themselves in situations that they thought were long-term, okay? But now it's like they just realize that they want to be alone. They want to be with self, you know, they, they are thinking about the feminine as this very loyal uh, partner, companion, and, and lover. Um, this is someone who is holding the Ace of Pentacles here, and they are thinking about you when they think of and look at this. This person could be completing, um, they could be going through a divorce, a separation. They're closing out some kind of big cycle, some kind of cycle in their life that they've been connected to for years. Okay, whether that's a few years, couple years, 20 years, it doesn't matter. It's 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 a cycle that like has been playing out, okay, like for a while. Okay? Could be like a long-term relationship with the 4 uh, of wands and the 4th house energy here. It could be someone they live with. There is something big being completed here. They're closing out a big karmic cycle. The universe is going, yeah. This is what's happening here. Okay? I'm going to clarify the world card. Because I want to I wanna dig a little deeper into what's completing. Why is the world showing up? I'm going to take the King of Pentacles. And then behind him is the Queen of Wands, which is third party energy for a lot of you guys. A karmic partner. Um, all right, so I'm going to put these to the side. Let me, <laughs> let me get the world. Show me the world card, please. Why is the world card here for this Divine Masculine, for this King of Pentacles? Why is it here? Okay, the wolf spirit animal can be very significant. Also the highland cattle. Okay, that's what this is right here. This uh, It's a highland cattle. A highland bull, whatever you want to say, but it's, it's a highland. Highlander. The world card, please. Ace of Swords, wow. And then the sun on the bottom of the deck. Wow, 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 wow. They are, see the crown activated and then the sun, speaking of massive enlightenment and then having massive revelations and epiphany moments here. So much is coming through clearly for this masculine. <laughs> this is all about divine truth, clarity, a breakthrough, a victory. It's Archangel Michael energy too. This person is very protective over you. Just FYI, they're very protective over you. Okay, if there's people around that know you or try to talk bad about you or badmouth you, they are very protective. They are seeing the divine truth. What did I just say? What have I been saying that they're seeing so clearly? Open your eyes. See, her eyes are closed, but her crown is activated and she's receiving messages, downloads, insight. She doesn't need to see with her eyes. She's in tune, she's connected, and she knows what to do. She's closing something out here. That's the masculine energy. They want a new beginning. We have two aces here. The star card, and now the sun. You are their sun, moon, and stars. This person is like, I don't know, I'm just getting beating themselves up over, over like letting you slip through the cracks, slip through their fingers, like get away. Okay, and in this song, it says, 
Take my hand and knot your fingers through mine and we'll walk through this dark room for the last time. So it's almost like the dark room is the dark night, is the shadow, is the cycle, whatever you want to call it, the, the darkness that they've been living in. And they're going, thank you. Take my hand. I want to take your hand and together we will ascend. We will accelerate forward. We will expand together. It's like they're ready to leave the dark room because they want to follow their passion. They want to follow the voice of their soul here. So they're closing something out. They're being guided. They're feeling it. Okay. This is huge, huge, huge activation. They're seeing everything so clearly. You are their joy. You are their bliss. You are happiness. When they think of you, it makes this person smile. It lights them up. Okay. This person may have said something to you in the past too about your smile, about you light me up, about, you know, you your energy, you're just like this amazing, like, you know, whatever, right? Okay, I just feel like they've told you things like that before. But you are their sunshine, right? You are my sunshine. And then the, after the sun is the lovers. You can't make it up. What are they having clarity about? What are they having revelations about? True love, divine partnership. You and them. You and them. And now I'm hearing an old country song by Kenny Chesney. It was like off of one of his first albums. It's one of my, it's one of, it's, it's a favorite of mine of his. Like I've always, 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 always loved it. And the song is called Me and You. And the part that I'm hearing right now is every day I need you even more. And the nighttime too. There's no way I could ever let you go, even if I wanted to. Okay. So it's again another song that I'll try. I'll I'll try to pin if you guys want to go check it out and listen to the whole thing. I'm telling you, it's absolutely beautiful, and it is so like as soon as the lovers came out, I started hearing it. Every day I need you even more. And the nighttime too. There's no way I could ever let you go, even if I wanted to. All right. All right. See, they've been through a dark night of the soul. It's taken this person a long time to get to this point. And I'm telling you, it's because of the chaotic energy storms of the eclipses, of the Mercury retrograde, of uh, Pluto retrograde, of this new moon. It's like, this is like the, ah, I can start to breathe and feel calm and, you know, good again. Okay, it's taken them a long time. They've been in this deep state of hermit mode. Okay, but they've been doing it all undercover, you know, to everyone else around them. It's like, oh, this person's fine. You know, this person, you know, oh, their life is good. They're happy. Okay, maybe people like, you know, family or good friends, maybe they picked up on kind of like intuitively, like something's going on under the, you know, something's going on behind the closed doors and behind the walls and behind the scenes. But for most people, this person, this masculine has fooled the people, okay? They've been in this for a long time, you guys. There's a massive acceleration, no longer moving slowly, okay? They can feel competition in the energy. They can feel other people reaching towards you. This person is having so much clarity about it that, you know, it's, it's resolving and dissolving the inner conflict that they've, that's been holding them back. So now they're running in. Didn't I just say there's a speed up? There it is. There's a speed up. They're running in. It may not be today. It may not be tomorrow. It could be, you know, I'm, I, I'm immediately, I'm just getting over the next four weeks. Okay. But take it how it connects for you. Um, you know, and we do have the four of wands here. Okay. Which is a four, right? And it's union here. So maybe over the next four weeks. And that's not why I'm saying that. I literally am just getting four weeks. So it could be, you know, this week it could be, you know, but I'm just, this person is, you guys, nothing's going to keep this person from, from, from reaching out and you have free will. So, you know, if you've surrendered and moved on, then good for you, right? You don't need to leave a comment saying you don't want them. You don't need to, you know, 
honestly, if you're still here 44 minutes into this message and we're about to end it, I couldn't even fathom if you're like not open to this or you don't care, like why you would keep watching. <laughs> but, um, but so I know most of you guys here, you resonate entirely with this and you're probably feeling this very strongly. Okay. Incoming out of nowhere, massive transformation that shakes things up. Comes in like a bolt of lightning, right? This person's foundation in their life is being shook up. Remember I said shooketh? Their foundation is being shaken up big time, big time. And when they look around at their life and the rocky foundations crumbling and everything falling apart in many ways, like, you know, it makes them think of you because you're the stability. You're the balance. You're the strong foundation. And that's another thing that they're seeing very clearly. So I'm telling you, there is something, a communication, a message, something incoming. Okay. You know, and it's not, this isn't a personal reading. It's collective. So it's not going to be for every single person. For some of you guys, this communication can come in the next four weeks. For some of you guys, this communication can come in the next four months. You know, I don't know. It's going to be different for everyone. But just know if this hits like super hard for you intuitively, that pff, there you go. It's your message. Out of nowhere, they rush in. Out of nowhere, you've surrendered it up. You're living your best life. You're opening up to, you know, new soulmates. You're out there maybe dating or meeting people. And then all of a sudden, boom, in comes the divine masculine. And it, it's, it is a shocking energy. It is a surprise energy. Even though you might be watching readings or getting readings about this and readers might be saying that or whatever, right? When it actually happens, it's shocking. It's surprising. Okay. And what happens? What, what is their goal? What is their goal? What is, what is it that they're manifesting with their third eye? We know to come together, to, to, to connect, to give, to be open, to be truthful and honest, to um, follow their passion because they feel that passion with you. Um, you are someone that they feel they need to, they have to connect to you. They just, they have to reconnect to you. And this is what they want. Ace of, Ace of Pentacles, that, that's what they want. And guess what's after the Ace of Pentacles, which is long-term commitment, a big solid offer. The Two of Cups. A solid commitment with your soulmate, with the one, if you will. Okay, they feel it. This is strong. This is a soulmate. And they may not use the word soulmate or they may not, you know, um, use the word twin flame or whatever. That doesn't matter. They feel it. They know it. They're aware of it. And they are doing something about it because they can't not do something about it. They're already, like I said, it's like an, a massive awakening epiphany um, where they literally are just like, what, what did I do? This is my wish fulfillment. This is someone I can't stop thinking of and dreaming of. This is someone, when I think of them, I, 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 I feel that this is a happily ever after, that we would have a beautiful life together. It would be all the things. And this is obviously a very high level soulmate connection or twin flame. So you guys have like, you know, work to do together, missions together, whatever that is for a lot of you. I've never let go. I've never let go. I'm still holding on. And my heart is broken in separation. What did I do? I was guarded. I had walls up. I was stoic and cold, emotionless and detached. When this person was open and loving. Because I was still stuck in the ego and the devil energy. And I had other strings and cords attached to me. And I just, right? Right? My life has been a nightmare. I'm, you know, anxiety and stress and worry. So I'm walking away from all that doesn't serve me anymore. And I'm walking towards that sun. See? She's walking towards the sun. And leaving all of this stuff behind. In the name of true love. Okay? Okay. There you are, Divine Feminine, showing up as the Queen of Cups. The most love you can possibly have, give. This is agape love. 
This is not about, you know, sex and, um, you know, just lustful devil energy, karmic stuff. This is not that. This is, this is, you guys, I mean, this is so powerful. And it's the, and see, she just was like, I surrendered up. I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm good in my self-love embodiment and, you know, connecting. I feel intuitively what's going on with my divine masculine, which is why I'm surrendering it up. You're the one. You're the one. So this is what I've got for you guys. I'm going to leave it here. I was not expecting to go 15 minutes, um, but it is what it is, right? It just, it is what it is. Um, so let's go ahead and get, before we go, since we're already 15 minutes in, let's go ahead and get a, a love Oracle message. So thank you, my loves for being here. I'm just taking a deep breath because there's just a lot of like energy, just stuff and whew, just a lot here. Um, I just thank you for being here. Thank you for co-creating this message with me. Thank you for the comments, letting me know how it connects with you, the signs, the sinks, um, definitely, you know, powerful message with the song lyrics, like just crazy. Um, you know, so I don't know, you know, it's going to be different case to case scenario for each of you guys, but this is the overall. So, um, the card that came out, as I said, this is the overall is sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss. You are their true bliss, the sun card. Okay. If you guys had sexual union before, they are thinking about this over and over and over in their mind. They're, they're connecting to it on a very high level now, you guys. Okay. And, and they feel that we are one eternal soul or that we are an eternal bond. You are my true bliss. I feel the true bliss, nirvana, euphoria. When I think of you, when I was with you, when I was around you, when I talked to you, when I looked into your eyes, when I held your hand. Okay. And going back to the song as we end, tell me you'll open your eyes because I need you to look into mine. Even right here, the divine feminine, right? The eyes are closed. So what do they want here? They're seeking forgiveness. Okay, they're hoping the door is not permanently shut here. Stop focusing your energy on past events, which is what they're doing and which is what you stopped doing too. You stopped, you released it. You, you moved forward. For life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. And that's that third eye that I was talking about. The thinking, the dreaming, the imagining. They are manifesting future timelines with the divine feminine. Okay? And a part of that future timeline is seeking uh, forgiveness and communicating. Why? Because they desire a new beginning here. Okay? We have the white dove showing up with the sun. Okay? So you might be seeing a lot of white doves, white birds. Just this morning on my morning walk, um, two beautiful big white cranes we're flying, just kind of soaring. I mean, they're, you know, huge. They're beautiful. And I got it on video and I posted it in my Instagram story. If you guys want to follow me there, you're more than welcome. Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. Um, make sure you follow the right Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. There's a ton of scammers out there. I'm the only Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot in the world that it's meta verified blue check mark. Okay. The new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Yeah. Live your dreams passionately that's what they want to do here that's what they're hoping for and they are hoping and they are praying that it's not too late okay um so thank you my loves and i hope you guys have a beautiful day if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one, if you want to connect with my gifts whether that's a general reading a past life akashic reading a, an energetic healing session event sesh whatever it is it's all in the description box below um it's always an honor and a privilege to connect with you guys but have a beautiful day, my loves. Uh, again, thank you for uh, interacting here on the channel, for subscribing and for supporting, okay? Thank you for your donations. Those of you guys who do the super thanks comments or super chats on lives or, you know, donation to PayPal, whatever it is. Thank you so much. It doesn't matter the amount. I send you love and I always pray that your donation and energy exchange of love and gratitude to me 
is returned back to you a million fold, okay? So namaste, mi amores. I'll see you soon. Bye.